Is it the shoes? Yeah? My first jump of the day. Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. And if you haven't read the title already, today we are talking about the Under Armour Curry 6. Let's get it. So before we get started, as per usual, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the like to show your support and love. Comment to let us know your thoughts on everything and subscribe because that's just the best thing to do. It's just in your best interest, really. Best interest. Yeah. I would, I would do that. And while you're at it, you might as well follow us on all our socials across the board, at This Is Pure Kicks. Very important too, I think, because we do loads of giveaways. Currently, we are giving away two copies of NBA 2K Playgrounds on Twitter. But, with all of that being said, let's get straight into it. Now the Under Armour Curry 6 was easily the shoe I was most excited about oh, from this for night. sure, for sure. Most anticipated curry easily. by far. From the images alone, I knew this shoe was an improvement on what we've seen already. Yeah. So I'll start from the 4. Now if you've already seen our performance review on the 4 and the 5 as well, go check them out. This is a fantastic improvement from there. Just from the images alone. And then we got them in hand and on feet. Mm. This colorway, clean, mean. Christmas colorway, Christmassy, mean. The red colorway, mean. mean. <laughs> My God, the Curry 6 is out here and I'm sure it's about to do a madness. It will. Now, getting into the performance of the Curry 6, there were three things, three things that really stood out. It's funny. They weren't mind blowing. Why do you say three things? Yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah. That's what he does. <laughs> That's what he does. Three things that really stood out to us. Now, they weren't mind blowing because we've experienced them in other shoes, mm -hmm. but from what we've experienced with previous Curry models, yeah. Yeah. to have this complete switch up in these three categories was absolutely amazing. And the first one of those three was the cushioning. Hey! The cushioning of the Curry 6 was sublime. Welcome. Tasty. Welcome cushion into the curry line. You are very much welcome. We've missed you. I didn't miss you, you were never here. You were so never here, my guy. Welcome. Under Armour Hover. Hover technology took care of us in the shoe. Most definitely. Fam. So comfortable. So buff. Talk so, to them, so buff. talk to them. Fam, Hover does its thing. And why? Responsiveness. Which makes sense. Cause no, we're not asking for the plushness or the the, the impact protection, no, because Curry's game is very different. We need response. And did the Hover give it to us? Did the Curry 6 give it to us? It gave it to us. Most definitely. Smacked it. Out the park. park. Welcome. Out the park. Push it in. And even those other things, impact protection, yep. still gave it. Still there. Court feel, in abundance. Fantastic stuff. Oh, mate. And then you talk about the speed plate, the mid foot channel yep. speed yep. plate, yep. which basically propels you forwards, makes you stay on your toes. That combined with the hover technology gave me something that I really, really enjoyed. It was so, so good. Very buff. So, so good. So good, in fact, that we're gonna give the cushion a nine out of 10. Young nine. The You've come a long way, Curry. You've come a long way. Fam, wow. I'm proud of you. So proud. Moving on to the second thing so good about this shoe, the materials. Materials, man. In the Curry 6, we have a fully knitted upper, which was strong and flexible, which makes no real sense. No sense whatsoever. None at all, but it did the absolute trick. <sighs> knitted everywhere with overlays in the highway areas, a toe box and even the bonded in between. Taken care of, yo. Just taken, taken care, care of you, bro. Ah, oh, snuggling. <laughs> Snuggling. Snuggling. Feels so good on foot. Feels so good. Breaking time is minimal. And that is something. That is a that lot. It, I, I'm shocked to say about a curry shoe. That um, the breaking time is minimal. I thought all was lost. I Ouch. thought all was lost. They fixed it. They fixed it. <laughs> they fixed it, man. The materials were absolutely amazing. And that combined with the cushioning system makes the shoe really comfortable. It makes it extremely fast. But it sounds crazy. When we're talking the cushion, the hover with that speed plate, with the light and flexible materials and strong materials, yeah, it's a quick shoot. It's a quick shoot. Even looks quick. 
Now, with all that being said, it's a nine. Again. A young nine. Youngest. Fam? Curry six, welcome to the party. It's kicking off on this side. You hear now? Now, the last thing that really stood out to us, mm. and it might have been the best thing mm. that the Under Armour 6 has to offer, was the fit of the shoe. <laughs> the fit. The fit. The shoe actually fits. Tip. <laughs> Bro, it does more than that. It fits well. Big facts. So well. The materials provide this amazing elastic fit. Oh, yeah. So nice, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. pink. Conforms thing. to your foot nicely. And then we have this lacing system. Lacing this lacing system is madness, my guy. It is so stupid. I don't even know where to begin. So what the lacing system in the Cori 6 has is this continuous, never-ending eyelet, which is buff. Each part performs around your foot and then the heel also comes in when you lace the shoe up. So your midfoot and your heel gets locked in from the one lace up. All at the same time. All at the same time. Simultaneously. Simul. Bare syllables. Bare. It Bare. is pain. It is mad. So nice. I loved it. It's actually one of my favorite parts of the shoe. Definitely yeah. one of my favorite parts of experience of the shoe. Yeah. When we're talking fit yeah. and that lacing up a shoe just feels incredible, especially something related to something like this. Hmm. Yeah. It's tough. I'm so happy so because tough. the Kari 4s, it's been two, three years yeah, and I feel like they still haven't broken in. My foot still hurts from that experience, do you know what I mean? Never have to wear them again, bro. So to have these... You never have to wear them again. I'm just so happy. You should be happy. You never have to wear them again. <sighs> so, all in all, the Kari 6 offers this compression-like fit, oh, yeah. which is so buff. It doesn't matter what type of foot you have. Yeah. Like I say, Timmy and his long ass snake feet and my normal, yeah, regular, yeah. wide foot, no calm. Home. It was took care of both of us, even though his foot was long and snaky and weird and abnormal. So mine, were, weird. mine were normal and weird. It didn't matter because it took care of both ends of the spectrum. His being the abnormal side and mine being the normal side. Bro, this is getting out of hand. You know it is. Leave me and my feet alone, yeah? With all that being said, the fit comes in at a fantastic nine out of 10. <sighs> yeah. So next up, talking about traction in the Curry 6. Now here at Peel Kicks, we like to call this circles and stripes traction pattern. Now, why is it called that? We have absolutely no clue, no idea. Um, check the Under Armour website and uh, they had uh, no name for the traction pattern on there. So we took it upon ourselves to name the traction pattern for you. No, we just described it. So we just described it. Not our most creative. No, but uh, it'll, it'll do. It'll do. It'll you do. guys can make do. Circles it'll and stripes. Do. Now, along with the traction pattern, the Under Armour Curry 6 also has a split out sole, which actually increases court contact. Now, what does that mean? I have no clue. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't have a clue what that means. What I think it means is... Only the parts of the outsole, or yeah. the part of your foot that touches the ground, yep. will touch the ground. That so sounds about right. Only the part that's supposed to touch the ground. So if you're on your toes and you don't want the mid part of the foot to touch the ground, yeah. only the toes will touch the ground because the split outs are designed, allows your foot to be more flexible. Yeah. But don't take my word for it. It's Jesus, just my, I just think. They're gonna need to take your word for I it. I think, foot. okay. They want your word for it. I'll take my word for it. I'm taking your word for it. I'll tell you that now. Split outsole design. Thank you, Flo. Now, all jokes aside, the traction did its thing. Oh, yeah, very good. Did the absolute trick, which you've grown to love in the Curry line. We've yep. known it to be quite consistent across the line. Yep. And the Curry 6 was no disappointment. Now, yes, there is a little dust collection. Yeah, we're not mad at that. We're not mad at that. We're mad at that. We're, to be honest, we play on one of the dustiest courts in the world. Maybe in the universe. I agree maybe in the universe so it wasn't something that took away from the traction too much no a young wipe as per one or two one or two you're good to go get back to it young traction and we also love the compound of the rubber mm. even though this is a translucent outsole it did its thing on dusty courts and we also think it'll be fine on outdoor courts so outdoors you're good to go just don't think that it will be as durable but mm. more durable 
than other translucent outsoles. I think you'll oh be all right. God. With all of that being said, the split outsole design, circles and stripes, traction pattern gets an 8 out of 10. A very good 8 a out of 10. great 8 out of 10. A lovely 8 out of 10. Last, but definitely not least, well it is least, that's what I'm I guess, last. yeah. Yeah. Talking about support. Now, Flo, what are you telling them about support? Now, this again is another one of those things, Timmy, where I feel like they've designed the shoe mm -hmm. where the support system is incomplete. I feel yeah. like, again, we have a shoe that is meant to be worn with an ankle brace. To complete. To complete the support. The support. I think the lockdown in the shoe is amazing. That comes from the fit, obviously. Yeah. The outrigger of the shoe, again, it's provides strong you outrigger. strong outrigger, provides you with that lateral support. Yeah. External heel counter is Love strong, that. especially when the shoe's locked in. It all conforms nicely, make sure your foot is locked in and you're good. However, it is extremely loose around your ankle, man. It is very, very flexible. And I would go as far as saying that it complements movement. Okay. As a guard, it, yeah, it makes it sure, it allows you to move as much as you can. To, Do you know what I mean? No restrictions. No restrictions Zero whatsoever. Restrictions. Now, on one hand, mm. no restrictions is amazing because it allows free movement basketball. Mm. On the other hand, it just takes away from support. Mm. We, as regular ballers, unfortunately, don't have the time to tape up on wearing ankle brace every single we time we play tape. basketball. Don't have enough tape. And it's sad. It's good support. It's just incomplete, mm. in our opinion. So, all of that being said, the support for us here at Pure Kicks comes in at a 6 out of 10. Average support. Yeah. You know, it does the job. It does the job. It's just incomplete, unfortunately, because it's too flexible. The ankle brace is sold separately. Sold separately. So, looking at the overall score of the Under Armour Curry 6, we're looking at an 8.2 out of 10. 8.2 out of 10. 8.2. Let that sizzle in your spirit, my guy. Let, let, that, let that sink in for a second. Let that sizzle. 8.2. Under Armour, let's, let's go. Welcome Sweet to this. Welcome to one. It. Sweet Welcome. one. Now, Flo, is this the best curry of all time? Yes. Okay. Easily, in fact. Easily, in fact. Easily, in fact. That's what I had in my head. If you didn't say that, we'd have problems. But cool. Reason being, is because of those three things we mentioned in the beginning. The cushioning was absolutely well amazing. Hobart did its thing. The speed plate did its thing. The materials were also really nice. The yeah. compression light fit was beautiful. Amazing. Traction took care of us. Only slightly let down by really? the support. I need a but I'm not mad at that. Well, no one's mad at that. It's a curry shoe. He wears an ankle brace. Be so if it's his shoe, then it's to be expected. But this shoe is a really, really good shoe. I really enjoy playing in this shoe. So Under Armour, well done. You guys did an amazing job. So all right guys, there you have it. Don't forget to like this video, show your support as you guys already have. We really, really appreciate it. Comment down below your thoughts on the Under Armour Curry 6. If you've already tried them on, what did you think of them? If you haven't tried them on, what are you actually expecting from them? And of course, the most important one, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing when it comes to pure kicks. Whether it's our performance reviews, our comparisons, 2K Fridays, whatever it may be, hit the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every time we drop a new video. And I'm not gonna tell you again, you need to press the notification bell. Oh, I'm gonna tell you again because I have to. Press the bell, it's in your best interest. Ho! Oh. Follow us on all our socials across the board at This Is Pure Kicks. We do giveaways, we get up to no good. It again is in your best interest to follow us because it's bad on every day here at Pure Kicks. So, all right, guys, that's everything from us. This is the Under Armour Curry 6. We're Pure Kicks. Let's get it.